Now to this heartbreaking story that captivated Southern California. A socialite, Rebecca Grossman, has now been found guilty of second degree murder. A jury announcing their verdict against the 60 year old yesterday, convicting her in the death of two children in a hit and run crash. KTLA's Omar Lewis live now in Westlake Village with reaction. Omar, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Yesterday was a very emotional day at the Van Nuys Courthouse. After the guilty verdict was read, immediately Rebecca Grossman was cuffed and taken into custody. This is the intersection where those two young boys lost their lives in a hit and run crash caused by Grossman nearly three and a half years ago. You can see there's now a memorial with flowers marking the spot where young Michael or young Mark and Jacob Iskander were killed. The Iskander family thanked the jury for their service, saying they can finally begin in healing after this traumatic ordeal. Rebecca Grossman, a socialite and the co-founder of the Grossman Burn Foundation, was found guilty of two counts of second degree murder and vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence and one count of hit and run resulting in death after 11 year old Mark and eight year old Jacob Iskander were killed. The boys were crossing the street in a crosswalk here in Westlake Village back in September of 2020. Prosecutors say Grossman was speeding and driving impaired. Grossman had no reaction when the verdict was read. However, her teenage daughter and son were visibly shaken and emotional. The two clung to their father, Dr. Peter Grossman, while leaving the Van Nuys courthouse. Rebecca Grossman's attorneys tried to blame Grossman's boyfriend at the time, former Dodgers pitcher Scott Erickson, saying it was his SUV that hit the boys as the two left a local restaurant in separate cars. After several weeks of testimony, it took only about nine hours for the jury to come back with a guilty verdict. The Iskander family says they're just grateful that justice was served. I'm amazed and glad that despite all their tricks, they couldn't trick our system or the juror, you know, finally can move on. My family, we've been waiting for this for three and a half years now. We've been waiting to, for, to trust the justice system. Um, so today we're just giving glory to God. And back out here live, we can tell you that Rebecca Grossman could face a maximum of 34 years to life in state prison. Her sentencing is now scheduled for April 10th. That is the very latest here live in Westlake Village this morning. I'm Omar Lewis. We'll send it back to you in the studio.